Hey, we live, we live, we live, we live. Hey, we live, we live. And we live, we live, we live, we live. Today, we out here in Queens on my terrace. Nah, <laughs> no, I'm joking. But we out here today. Um, I've known this young lady for a very long time. Um, from Left Rack, or should we? No, I'm from Left Rack. You're from Left Rack? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, I want you to say, well, I, I want you to say your name because I like people to say your name because it's more of like, it's yours. You should be more proud about it. So tell them your name and tell them something about yourself. Elastina Gosign, and mostly everybody just calls me Tina. Tina, yeah. yes. So what are you doing right now career wise? I'm a massage therapist. Okay. So you will. So if you had somebody, if somebody had to call you something, then you just want them to call you a massage therapist? Or? Yeah. All right, because you know something. Not a masseuse. Say, not a masseuse? No. What's the difference? Well, masseuse just carries a negative connotation, like Why? happy endings and stuff. Okay. So, okay. masseuse, you okay, know? Okay, okay, okay. I'm learning. I just want to know. Um, <clears throat> so let's talk about school. Let's talk about middle school, and I like going back to middle, middle school. school. We gotta talk about it, right? We gotta talk about you <laughs> going and being in middle school, grades, and like, you know, having friends and stuff like that. How was middle school for you? It was fine. I mean, I was regular. I didn't have any problems in middle school. So what's regular though? Because you know, kids are crazy at that age. Middle school, you tell yeah, me. Yeah, no, I wasn't good? crazy. So I was really pretty corny. You was corny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was pretty corny. So what was what was it that that, that, we did, that you did with that was so corny? I mean, not, I mean, nothing. I did what everybody else did. We went to the movies. We went bowling. Okay. You know, stuff like that. Could you but bowl I think bowl? we were still playing tag, like me and my friends at junior high school. Oh, and I, I think was, like was now that's crazy. What? You know what I mean? Playing tag at oh, junior now? high school. Yeah, because the kids seem so much grown. Yeah. Growner, uh, older, grown. Yeah, I was still uh, hopping fences and stuff. <laughs> oh, so you was out there like yeah, yeah, you're catch yeah. Your age. <laughs> okay I saw you um so what else so how was your grades though in uh, middle school really good what's really good a I number was the honor student what's a number or a letter I mean I had all A's okay I was in honor class I, I don't know you I could was, have maybe you could have all B's and be an honor class my bad no I was a good student Are you I just didn't like going to school but I was a good student Okay. Did you have like problems life. with teachers? Nope. No. Nope. You just do your work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty, pretty corny, pretty no, basic. That's, that's good though. That's yeah. Good. Do you feel like <clears throat> school made you who you are today? No. So okay, let's let's go back to high school. So what happened in high school? How was high school? Fine. What's fine? It was yeah, great. I mean, What's I great? ran track. I, was I, you I, nice at track? I was pretty good, I guess. I mean, I only ran against... I don't think I was that good. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? I was good for the people I ran against. Yeah, so did... What about... um? You were saying you danced and sing? Yeah, we did this thing called Sing. We had to put on this production or whatever. Yes. And everybody had, like, roles. It was costume. You know, like a real Broadway show. So, so you was, like... you was. The I did choreographer, choreography for the first two years. And then mm-hmm. the last year, they gave me the lead role. How was it doing the lead role? Okay. She's blushing. It Let's was see. fun. I had to sing on stage and yeah. stuff. Okay, but how was that? Was you like nervous? Hell yeah. <laughs> what did, like, so how did you get over being nervous? Because I had no choice. They just, you know, I, I just kept doing it. So and okay. I should have said no, but I, you know. But you don't want to say no because you enjoy doing a it. A little bit. A little, a lot of it? Yeah, a little uh, bit. Okay. Um, so what do you, um, so when did you, what about okay like when did you start finding yourself wanting to be a masseuse i'm sorry a massage, um, massage therapist, therapist. Massage therapist. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. um i have i was working in the investment banking yes and i hated it what did you hate it was, you know you just you're in a room with a bunch of arrogant men all day <laughs> it's a lot of testosterone yeah i mean it's fun but it's not so much fun at all yeah. And then um, I just wanted to be able to have my own hours and do what I wanted to do. So I, I so found... So you want that freedom? Yeah. So you're like um, a boss. Right. Boss. Yeah, that's the boss. Um, so can you describe one of your um, 
massage that you've given? Like, can you like just talk about like um, like some techniques you might use? Do you use the elbow? <laughs> I use my arm, <laughs> my elbow, no. my knuckles. So I know because we are. Well, I'm, I'm asking that because we was talking earlier. And we was talking about how you said every massage you give is different. Everyone. So every, so every massage you give is different. Yeah. How is that? Because it's, it depends on what the body needs. It's not about what you're used to doing. Like you can't just go into them. I mean, you can, but that yeah. would suck. If you do that as a massage therapist, that you should stop doing that. You should go into the massage and listen to the body and then give the body what it needs. You have to also listen to what the client wants. So you need to do that too. But sometimes they don't, what they want is not what they need. Yeah. But you gotta fool them. So you gotta do stuff they want a little bit, yeah. but really do the stuff they need. And then when you finish, they're like, holy shit, I really feel a lot better. Yeah. And it's because you did the stuff so you, you like, So you like that feeling? I love it. How do you, how is that? Like, can you express that feeling? Like when they say that to you? I mean, it just, you're like glowing you just, right now. You got the veins <laughs> in the head and everything. Like, I mean, it just like, feels, it feels good to be, you do something really good and somebody appreciates it. No, I know. I, I just wanted to see, because like for me, when you feel it, it's like you be feeling like the butterflies and all that. Yeah, like I still get excited like, when I go to do massage. That's good. Even for people that I've seen a number of times, because every time you go in, it's something different. So. Yeah. That's what I was saying too, because you know, I'm nice at it too. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, like I say about that, but anyways, um, right. so what is something that you see yourself doing like down, like maybe in five years, ten years from now? Um, hope I will. With a little, a little probably like a little clinic spa, mm -hmm. and maybe a small product line. What kind of products? <laughs> Products. I don't want to say. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, okay. you know, something along the lines of you know the cannabis industry. Okay, that's cool. Man. Yeah. So we can we can definitely talk about that another time. <laughs> but right now, let's let's um stay on on um on you like dealing with um well doing what you're doing now. Wait, wait, what was you doing before you started doing, doing massage? massage? Yes. Mad other stuff. I think I was working, okay, I worked for a media company, and then I worked for um, a publishing company, How and then that? I worked for um, the, the Council of Fashion Designers of America, that was pretty cool, you got to meet a lot of designers, like big people, Anna How Winter like and all that, of that, though? it was cool, it was a small office, I liked it, I liked it a lot, I mean, every job I did, I kind of liked it, I liked the people I worked with. Okay, that's cool, bro, so, even though you did work... Like, when, at what point did it kind of push you to be like, ah, I want to do just massages? Because you had to have a point, right? Because you're just like, well, you're I went at all these jobs, you like them. I, was, I bought the um, Idiot's Guide to Massage, yeah. and I read that book from cover to cover, and I got to realize that you can build a real career off of massage. Yeah. It's something that I've always enjoyed doing and not knew, not know that I could build a career out of it. Yeah. And then I went to open a house without telling anyone, and I fell in love. I see it like your face is <laughs> like just like really yep. serious, but um, that's cool though. Um, but <clears throat> when you was young, did you ever think you'd be doing something like this? Mm -mm. Okay, what did you think? I used to want to be a veterinarian. Would you still do that? Hell no. <laughs> I mean, I like pet animals, but not that much. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm not really for them because I'm allergic to cats and dogs. So exactly. It's kind of like leaving my mom. I like. I don't like that either. That that people that have dogs and cats or whatever be on the street, they just let them go anywhere. It's like, what if <laughs> I don't want to be next to your dog? You know what I'm saying? Because they like, don't care. Yeah. They think everybody rude. should love the dogs. It's cool. You can. I can love it from a distance. Nice. Um. So, what about college? Can we even talk about college? I like college. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you like college though? What college did you go to? I went to South Carolina State. How was that? It was good. I went with my best friend. Me and Donna went to school together. Donna. Donna. You like oh, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a lot of fun because we were together. So we had each other the whole time, you know? We got yeah. to do all the stuff that we've never done before together with someone you trust and love. That's awesome. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a good time. Yeah. You know, I felt like at the end of my college career, I started enjoying myself more, but it was like, it was too late. 
It was too late. It's too late, ma. It's too know? late. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> um, so do you ever see yourself having like like I know you say you see yourself having like a storefront? Mm -hmm. Basically, right? Do you ever see yourself having like people work outside like that, like doing home visits and stuff like that that work for you all? Um Honestly, I mean that that's a possibility, but the type of person I am, I feel like if you feel to go out and get massages and do them, then you should do them for yourself. Okay. I don't want you to work for me doing that because really you're doing your own thing out there. Yeah. So that's your business. But I'm saying it's it is their business, but if you're like helping people network to get to the GLC and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean kinda sorta. Of. Yeah, but then if I'm doing that, I should be getting some kickback. Yes. I mean, my whole, the whole point, I guess I would do that, yes. But the point would Just be. Just helping each other. Yeah, the point would be for that you could pick it up and do it yourself. Yeah. And not stay under me. Yeah. Okay, it's yes. It's just like, I would you know, do that. grooming. Like a mentoring. Yes, yes. grooming. I would do that. Yes. I would yeah. love to do that, actually. So, see, you heard it, right? So, now you guys can bother her. You go, we're going to get a lot of information <laughs> soon. Yeah, because, you know what? When I went into massage, I didn't know anyone that did massage. Yeah. It was just, I went in there. I didn't know nothing and no one. I had no idea how the industry went. I couldn't ask someone what they thought would be a good process because everybody still was like, ooh, massage. Yeah. You know. No, I know. It, how, what about that? Like, what about doing, do you have, like, a requirement for a person that get a massage? Like, they have to take a shower? I would love for you to take a shower. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, cause, you know, some people be, like, right out of work, like, everything. Like, how, what about those? How, yeah, uh, people are a little bit disgusting. <laughs> but I would like you to take a shower. It would be nice if you were clean when you're gonna yeah. keep your feet clean. People don't do that. Yeah, because she looked right at my feet. She's like, oh, you got some nice feet. I was like, yeah, I know. Because they lay, they lay down like they, when you open the move the sheet, it's like they walk their barefoot or something. I don't understand. Yikes. I don't know, but my feet look nice. I didn't see yours. You know, they could <laughs> be looking crazy, but never, 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 know. never, never crazy. Never know. But, um, so what is um no talk about your kids <laughs> yeah because we gotta talk about them your kids, real quick because that's part of you and we talk about everything else going on um you know i got two kids everybody knows that summer and sky sky is my oldest she's 18 she's in college she's a freshman in clark atlanta i'm very Ooh. proud of her we go, we're going to check her out too because we're going to go down to atlanta i told you already yeah we're going down we try i miss her mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's like your twin, though. I love like, her. That's my twin. best friend. That's crazy. No. They're like the same size and it's everything. It's so funny because she really looks just like her dad. You she really so? doesn't look, yeah. If she stands next to me, she looks a little like me. But her face is her father's face. Her, her, I her, see aunt, them together. her aunt's face, really. I have to see them next to each other, like all y'all. That would be like, I need to see one of those pictures. Yeah. But um, how is it like having kids for you? Like, how I, is it? The best. It's the best. I hashtag it all the time. Mom is my favorite job. That's the yeah, best job boy. to me in the world. I swear. In the world. In the world. I don't know what this is, but in the world. I'm too excited. I, I love it. No, but that's cool, though. That's how I feel about, you know, being around my kids. And that's going to be, like, one of the hardest things for me, too, like, leaving. And, you know, not being able to see them at first. Oh, man, yeah. You know, I'm going to miss my, my boy and my yeah. girl. I miss them. But I love my kids, though. They're funny. They're like real characters. Yeah, even on right? The, yeah, like little people. Like really little they people. They can like, pick you up. And any, you can be <laughs> down. They just going to say one thing. You be like, oh, man, get out of here with that. You know, you're just like, the oh, best. Oh. No, nah, it is. Um, what do you have coming up in the future? Do you have anything coming up in events? Or tell them about your social media. And oh, yes. Um, I have a website. It is www.massagevibes.com. And my Instagram is Elastina. Is Instagram dots or hashtag? Underscore. Uh, um, Instagram is right? at. No, I oh, don't know at. But okay. they don't. They, one of them lets you do a dot Snapchat. And I think Snapchat. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Snapchat. okay, so Snapchat, <laughs> Snapchat. one. The Snapchat <laughs> one is Elastina. <laughs> dot L lmt and the instagram one is elastina <laughs> underscore lmt okay you sure yes okay because i don't know like no, i'm pretty dot. sure snapchat is but, the dot okay even though she said it, we still are going to have it on the video on the link you're going to be able to see it uh you can definitely tune into my page if you want to look at it it's called rain rickards 
Uh, it's the Rain Check Show. We're checking in because we want, we're trying to see about people and see what they're doing, how they're doing, how they get into their life. We do got one more question for you, but um, I still want to talk about Rain Check. We got it on YouTube. Go, go subscribe. Go subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> um, last question I always ask, and I ask about the hardest thing you had to deal with. Hardest thing uh, you might have to come overcame, or maybe not have overcame. Kind of still dealing with, but. Some, just to talk about something that's kind of like motivating because I spoke to one guy and he was telling me how he was dealing with like how he was used to be using drugs but then like being around kids helped him stay away from that and it's like the more you're around the kids the more it helps so it's like I'm not saying you've got that kind of story but I'm just, I'm just saying <laughs> yeah, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't have that one it's not that colorful I don't have anything that colorful but you, you, can, you know you can talk about something because I don't think anybody has an easy life no, I, no, nobody does. Nobody does. Somebody always has an obstacle. But yes. I, I would think that for me, I would have to say it would be dealing with my dad's dementia. Oh, okay. Because, you know, it's hard to watch somebody you know to be so strong, yeah. you know, not be so strong. Yeah. And then just lose their mind. It's not easy. No, I know what you're saying. I'm not, I don't know about the, the losing mind, but just like being around your parents and you wanted more for them and sometimes they're so used to doing their self or you know or things like that or even just how you said like to not really be able to still have the same conversation you know, yeah like, you know it is tough but it's good that you're able to still try to be there yeah you know what i'm lucky because he's not really like a mean dementia he's yeah. really he just laughs all day but it's exhausting you know and it's t it, it really wears you down yeah, but so what do you do, like, do you have, like, other family members that come with you sometimes to support? No, Bly does. Bly's very supportive. That's good. That's yeah, good. he's awesome at that. That's what, that. That's what you need. As long as you have somebody, I think it's always good because you really only need, like, one person. You don't need too many people. If you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you can have people in your life, but you always want to have that one person that's going to always have your back. Yeah, of course. You know, because that's... That's that's the good part of life. It's like you're going through your life. You that helps build confidence so that you can do more things. You'll be yes. you'll be more apt to step out on the ledge knowing somebody got the you know told yeah. me right there. So, do you think that's part of like why you do what you do too? Like how you stepped out there and try to um, and have become a because I have the support. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's cool, I have a, a very huge support system. Okay. Uh, you want to name some people? Oh, I too much. <laughs> For real? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, my mom and my brother and Bly and Sky and Jasmine and, you know, yeah. Donna and Liza. She had you smile and you say it. It's good. Jillian. And, I mean, Justice. Justice. That's my guy. She said a lot of names. I probably know my face. I'm, I'm not really good with names. But um, that's good that you get to have that many people because a lot of people yeah. don't have that. Yeah, I know. I have millions. I mean, yeah, I got a lot of people. Yeah, that's I got cool. a lot of people. And, lot of people in turn, people. my kids have a lot of people, and I'm blessed that that's the thing, you know? Yeah, because you don't. Mm. Yeah, that's good. You know, you keep going if you got more. It's cool. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> we going to roll them up at the end on the credits. Yeah, just, just <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, all right, so <clears throat> I want to thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you for having and, me. And um, we are going to definitely try to one day get her catch her in action um she says she's coming down to atlanta mm -hmm. i'm gonna be in atlanta she's gonna be in atlanta so we're just gonna be all be in atlanta trying to do this you know what i mean next time we'll find somebody it's hard how we can't find nobody no that's because we didn't really put the word out we didn't put the word out if we put the word out i'm put, sure we could put the word some. out go ahead girl go ahead don't put the word out <laughs> <laughs> no i'm joking um but no nah, this definitely was fun you know what I mean? We definitely gonna do another one because this is this is the first, but it won't be the last one because I like filming and all that good stuff, and I want to follow and check people out. Oh, I'm proud of you. This is really cool. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Yes. I felt very comfortable. You did? Yes. I won again. <laughs> I won again. <laughs> and we're out. Oh wait.